Alright, making a video. Walking home video. It's getting a little cold. Ooh. Okay. I don't know, it sounded like it was turning off. Uh, never mind. Um, screen. Ew, it looks quite cruddy. Anyway, um, uh, uh, so, oh yeah, sorry, TED Talks video. There was actually one that I actually liked. Well, I didn't like it. I liked the idea of it. Could have been done so much better. So it was some sort of, I don't know, got all these different TED Talks apparently all over the world. And so it was Zurich or something. Anyway, so some guy was doing this reducing idea. This reductionism of, let's see if we can define something by six words. And uh, define a TED Talks, and then a group of TED Talks, and then they, they all of TED Talks by six words. And the six words he chose were idiotic. And chose is the, <laughs> the bottom line. Um, basically because he took, he gleaned statistical data in a way. Uh, he, he solicited information, but he just filtered it through his own judgment. So, uh, it's not at all scientific or useful. Um, and, uh, yeah, I find it really irritating. And, you know, inspiration is not knowing or some kind of bullshit or whatever it was. Let's all love the, uh, wishing and hoping rather than doing and, or uh, whatever. I mean, it was just, it was just more crap, uh, that people turn this life game into. That somehow there's fun in just not knowing, you know curiosity, you know, satisfied the moron, or whatever the stupid, I mean, it's just stupid. Um, but anyway, the idea of gleaning the essence of things, getting to the, the root compound, the root idea, is just so friggin' brilliant. Uh, you know, and, and Professor Anton, people like that, they, they scowl at that idea. They scowl at it. They actually scowl reductionism. Ugh. Like it's the horror that you would take something messy and sloppy, clean it up, and get to the idea of it. To be able to see the idea of it uh, through all the bullshit. And, uh, yeah, it's just really annoying. Oh, that pond is drying up. It is a little droughty here. <laughs> yeah. Not too much rain. I don't know if you can, I can barely show you the water because there ain't much. Um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, so like reduction is, is bad and it's, it's, no, it's brilliant. Uh, it's how you find the truth through all the bullshit. And, uh, so anyway, yeah, it's a, that's a real challenge though, is to go out into this world and take these things that we think are complex and explain the relationships, the simplicity of it, the mechanism of it. Um, people did that with evolution, and as long as people don't take it too seriously or literally, uh, yeah, survival of the fittest. Well, yeah, and the understanding that fitness isn't some sort of uh, good definition of fitness, it's just a raw definition of fitness. Fitness by definition of the competition, not... Um, not to empirically, not, not provably fit, just fit because it's better than whatever it was competing against. Uh, you wouldn't say somebody's a very, very smart person because they fooled a five-year-old. Uh, I mean, obviously they're smarter than a five-year-old, but you wouldn't call that smart. Uh, and you can't call it fit if what it's made out of is, uh, you know, winning a battle. And, uh, you know, that doesn't have any ethical or uh, uh, meritorious rules, you know, of mer you know, where you have to actually accomplish something, <laughs> do something, not have luck decide the case or not have, uh, you know, do first violence and therefore win, cheat first, and then there's no one to accuse you of cheating and cheat decisively. Uh, you know, if you kill your victim, no matter what's your crime, well, there's nobody to point their finger at you and say you're a criminal. You win. Uh, but uh, is that a is that victory real in terms of a winning by a standard that means something? And I would argue it's a meaningless standard. 
if uh, all it is is wind. When without that context, it doesn't mean anything. That's another reduction. It's the reduction of ethics down to some ideas, some basic concepts of things like fairness. I mean, we can reduce ethics and uh, value down to these simple principles. Uh, you know, suffering sucks. Cheating sucks. Stealing sucks. <laughs> uh, thieving. Uh, what's, uh, what's another? Um, cheating. Yeah, I already said that, but... Yeah, so you get end up with just this simple concepts. I mean, simple rules that uh, you don't want to be causing pain and suffering, and you don't want to uh, take or steal or thieve or, in some other unearned way, have. You want to earn what you have. You want to earn what you get. Um, you don't want somebody else to pay for it kind of a thing. Uh, yeah. And so anyway, so everything can... Reduction is good because it provides clarity. Uh, it, its simplicity is, um, you know, dangerous a little. You don't want to get too simplistic. You don't want to clean everything out of the environment so you don't have any environment left. Uh, you got to be careful when you're packing it up. You you don't put the floor in the bag and the ceiling and the walls. You want to keep the structure and just get rid of the distractions, the the stuff that was hiding the structure, uh, like this tree. You know, <laughs> you know this is just these are little great examples just fall in your lap like this. But you know, it has this these distracting text written on it. Look at that. AR plus AT. I wonder who they are. Uh, <laughs> uh, Adam and Albert. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. These people are all afraid to put their real names. That's kind of pussy, isn't it? I mean, if you love somebody and all that kind of crap, you think you could, you know, put the real name in there. <sighs> so anyway, dubs. Anyway, that's a distraction, okay? This is hiding the structure, the meaning, the truth of this tree. It's hidden not only by this stuff carved in it, this real external stuff. It's also hidden by the, the symmetry of the tree, the art of it. It's got this magnificent structure to it. You know, the bark has all this nuance and, you know, Fred would say it's got many vaginas. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's got all kinds of stuff to it. And what gets lost is, you know, in all that, uh, color and, um, power and all the, the, the things that we get distracted by, what gets lost is the real context of it, which is biological structure, four billion years of evolution, um, matter, in a consolidation uh, that's just uh, trapped by uh, flowing mechanisms, uh, funnels, funnels of control that uh, matter flows through and creates. So the matter creates the funnel and then gets traps matter in the funnel. Energy creates funnels, let's say. And then those funnels funnel other energy into funnels. Uh, so that might be a good way to describe it, is that the energy, the little quanta, creates a, a, a funnel. Uh, and then that funnel traps other bits of energy, funnels it, and pushes it into the shape of a new funnel. And then that funnel does the same thing, and so on, and so on, and so on, until you have all funnels, all the energy starts getting trapped in funnels, uh, and uh, or a, a, a portion, a big portion of it, um, and then those funnels over time, once everything gets funneled, then the, the funnels will start degrading, uh, collapsing, and uh, falling apart, 
uh, and as they fall apart they will do it in just the same kind of cascading manner so they, they build up uh, complexity in a chain reaction of funnel building and then when it all unravels it unravels the same chain of of events the same chain reaction of degradation because they're all sort of dependent on each other's funnels and once the funnels start degrading that degrade affects all the cascades of all the other funnels yeah that's adequate um pretty good metaphor i think i like it funnel anyway so there there's a word you can to reduce it all to a word. Uh, funnel. Funnelization. <laughs> Funnelize. Uh, you know, and uh, there's no evil in this. I mean, I think it's a good mental process, reductionism. Even if you didn't take it too seriously, even if you didn't see it as uh, a brilliant way of getting to the truth, um, just the exercise of it uh, forces you to rethink, forces you to see the pieces and to analyze them and uh, to recognize when you're missing something, it'll, it'll come, it'll be made aware of it. I mean, as you start unpiling the clutter, you'll start finding things, and those things are interesting in themselves. Uh, they might be, they might have knowledge power. <laughs> yeah, in themselves. Um, there's a lot of power in simple words. Uh, just do it. Right? I mean, it's pretty simple, but the concept is big. Uh, you know, and, and so reductionism in that case uh, creates a, a almost a perfection because the clarity it creates. It gets through all the bullshit, and it says all. It says so much. Uh, it says, you know, let go of the inhibitions, let go of the conversation, let go of the control uh, desire, and uh, just do. <laughs> you know, there's do and do not do. <laughs> there's accomplish and fail. Uh, you know, there is no try. Uh, to quote uh, Yoda. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that's enough. I just I, I do find that a, a very fruitful avenue of conversation is all the insight that can be derived through this process of reductionism. It's a very positive thing, not a negative thing. Extremely positive on balance. It's a lack of reductionism that has the human race chasing nonsense and bullshit and uh, silly putty. Because uh, it hasn't reduced it to what its essence is. This is rock. Rock does not feel. Rock is heavy. <laughs> yeah. Rock is irrelevant. Unless it lands on your foot. Uh, Um, yeah, that's enough of a video. Sorry, it's uphill. <laughs> I'm a little pooped. I don't mean I don't have poop. I just mean I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. So, I was, pooped is too much, too reductionistic for tired. And it's too, it's, you know, it's a word used for too many things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's my vlogging chair. Yay for the vlogging chair. Hip hooray. This is my get knocked on the head by a tree. And that's the neighbor's house. Rich people. Richie, rich. Richie, rich. Richie, rich. Richie, richie, richie. A pig reductionism. 
The rich are much like pig. <laughs> yeah, they are big. The essence of big. <sighs> Gluttonous whore pig. <sighs> Next time. <laughs> and such.